Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about your person, the person you're thinking about or connecting with, what are their energies towards you, what do they think or feel about you, how do they view this connection with you, and what do they wish they could tell you. All right, all right, guys, what messages do you have for Pisces? What messages do you have for Pisces, please? For Pisces, what messages do you have? For Pisces. All right, what are the energies that Pisces is bringing to this connection? Okay, we got strategy. What about the person that Pisces is dealing with? What energies are they bringing to this connection? Blossoming abundance, nice. It's kind of like Empress energy. That's the energy that they're bringing to this connection. So they want something to grow. There's potential for growth. What's going on in this connection? Okay. We got caring connections. Beautiful. So a very uh, loving connection here. A lot of feelings here. And just as I say that. Woman holding a coin at the bottom of the deck. I don't just feel it's feelings though. It's almost like um, commitment is also very important here. Either one of you wants commitment or your connection is heading towards a higher level of commitment. Something like that. So let's see. What can you tell me about these energies? Let's get some cards here. The Pisces. What can you tell me about these energies spirit for pisces excuse me tell me about strategy what do we need to know about strategy page of swords reverse okay i'm really hoping Page of Pentacles reverse at the bottom. Pisces, I wonder if this is a situation where you and this person aren't really opening up to each other or there is, hmm. It's almost like you're trying to work around something with strategy and Page of Swords reverse. Either there's very little communication or you don't know the truth of something uh, or perhaps you're unable to tell the truth to this person regarding how you feel. Perhaps there is um, commitments very slow in coming or there's delays. And so it's like you're trying to work around that. You're trying to figure something out about how to solve that or resolve something. Okay, we'll see when we get into the tarot a little bit further what that's all about. Tell me about Blossoming Abundance. I got blossoming abundance. Oh, two. Six of swords, knight of pentacles, reverse. Some sort of um movement here. Knight of pentacles, reverse. Page of pentacles, reverse was earlier at the bottom of the deck. To the bottom of the deck here. Two of cups. Wow, okay, so I feel like this is a, a situation, a connection that is, is moving extremely slowly towards commitment. Maybe there's been a complete stop in um, the progression of this connection. I feel like your person, is, there's some sort of departure. It's like they're leaving a situation or moving to see you or there's physical distance between you. 
It could be that this departure is slowing this offer down or maybe someone needs to leave a situation in order to make an offer. We'll see. Five of Pentacles. There's some sort of distance here between you. Tell me about carrying connections and then we'll ask more questions as we move on. Tell me about carrying connections. What's this energy about? Death. Scorpio energy. Endings and transformations. A rebirth possibly. There could have been a separation here between you in the past. Perhaps there's a huge change happening in this connection. Seven, no, eight of pentacles reverse, page of cups reverse. There's been heartbreak because someone has been put in a certain effort here or is unable to move forward here. But I'm also seeing like on your side, Pisces, there's probably not the right communication taking place here. Perhaps you feel someone is maybe not being truthful or you're not being truthful about something. Let's get into this. Tell me more for Pisces. Spirit in love, November 2020. What do we need to know for Pisces? Now this is a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching, so just keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Pisces readings. And if it does resonate, don't forget to leave me a comment down below telling me how it resonated for you, what your story is. I love hearing from you guys, even though I can't respond to every comment, I do read them all. So let's get into this. Tell me about, wow, Two of Cups wants to come out. I haven't even asked, asked my question, but I feel like this is a very strong connection, like a soulmate connection. Tell me more about my cards. My cards, they just wanna talk. What is going on? For Pisces. Tell me about how Pisces is thinking or feeling in this connection. Tell me about Pisces. What are they thinking or feeling at this time? Eight of Wands. Movement, communication. What else? For Pisces. Six of Pentacles. Balance. Hold on. Have I been hitting the mic this whole time? Sorry if I have. Balance, equal give and take. What else for Pisces? What are they thinking or feeling of this connection? The star, Aquarius energy, hope, faith, healing, renewal. I feel like you want to fix something here, Pisces, or you want things to improve, to you want to restore the balance, you have hope in this connection. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies? Now, Pisces, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but the energy can be vice versa, so feel free to flip it if it resonates for you. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. The sun reverse. Tell me about the person that Pisces is dealing with. What are their energies at this time? Eight of swords reverse. They're breaking free of fear, not seeing a way out of a situation but with the sun reverse i feel like they're not being clear about this or they're hiding something regarding this situation perhaps they're just very unhappy we'll clarify tell me more 
King of Wands. This person wants something. They're motivated. They have their eye on you, literally. You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. An Aquarius, a Scorpio. I have also Earth here. And air. So everybody, oh, everybody's here. All right, let's see. What's the mutual energy here? What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? Three of cups reverse. No. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, that was upright. Ten of pentacles, three of cups reverse. There could be... um. Some sort of interference in a long-term commitment or a long-term commitment is an interference here. I'm getting the sense though, like I have the magician at the bottom. So maybe someone's manifesting a long-term commitment here, but there's a third party energy. So let's clarify each of these and see what's going on. Four Pisces. these energy spirits. Show me what I need to see for Pisces. For Pisces. going on here either in a long-term commitment or a family situation all right let's clarify tell me about this eight of wands I have a feeling this is communication but it could also be some sort of action excitement movement what is this eight of wands about things happening quickly five of cups regret remorse Sadness, disappointment. What is this Eight of Wands about? Why is it here for Pisces? Ten of Wands, reverse. I feel like someone wants... It's like you want to talk about something that you're disappointed by or sad about. Maybe you want to talk about what happened in the past. Page of Pentacles. Hmm. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, uh, Temperance Energy, Sagittarius um, of Significance. Okay, so I feel like this is you um, wanting to have some sort of communication. Um, I feel like you want to make an offer. Or you're, you're hoping for an offer here. But it's like you're disappointed by a burden, an existing burden or obstacle, some sort of baggage here. You might have made some mistakes in the past or are reflecting on the past. And perhaps that's created some sort of baggage here. We'll see. Looks like you want to try to like restore balance here. Or maybe you're wondering about if someone is uh, feeling the same way about you. Let's see. What's the Six of Pentacles about? Three of Pentacles, working together, effort. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Empress, yeah, you want to grow, you want to work together. You, you want someone to, I guess, meet you halfway here. You know, working towards abundance, towards love. Um building something together i'm also getting for some of you that this person has is in a some sort of third party 
and I feel like they're not giving to this connection the way that you are because of it. Why is this star here? Tell me about this star. Six of Cups reverse. You are thinking about the past. Tell me about the star. Four of Cups. Yeah, you're thinking about the past. And I feel like while you think about the past, Pisces, you're not really open to anything in the present or the future. You're kind of like stuck in the past here. It's almost like you're you're playing over and over in your head something that already took place. Can I get one more for the star? The sun. The sun, the star. I feel like you've set your hopes on someone. Mm, Queen of Wands. So you're kind of mirroring each other, literally looking at each other. You have eyes on each other here. But whereas you're open and like the light is sh shining right on what you want and how you feel, I feel like this person, they're they're hidden in some way. Maybe like you're more open about how you feel with this person or something like that like you know what you want with this person and aren't afraid to show it but maybe they're not in the same boat they are not feeling the same about that let's see let's see show me what i need to see for pisces tell me about the sun reverse Four of Swords. No communication. This could be that this person is mentally checked out or isn't taking action, isn't communicating. It's just thinking. They're just thinking right now. But I feel like thinking, yeah, see, they're not working on anything. They're not taking action on something and possibly refusing to make a certain decision here. I feel like that's making them unhappy or there's something that they're not telling. Yep, they're not telling you something here with the Page of Swords reversed. They're not telling you the whole story or perhaps they're not communicating with you. And possibly you're trying to work around this, fix this in some way. Why is the Eight of Swords reversed? The Magician Reverse. Why is the Eight of Swords Reverse? So it's almost like you're willing to work on this, but they're not able to. Why is the Eight of Swords Reverse? Queen of Wands. They want something. They just can't make it happen. Yeah, they want success. They want... Yeah. They want to make an offer. They're thinking of an opportunity here. And they're breaking free of their fear in order to do this, to go after what they want, to have success here with you. Um, but for some reason with the Magician Reverse, they're not able to manifest this. Um, or they're not able to work on this for some reason. Can I get one more for the Magician Reverse? There's a Two of Cups. Can I get one more for the Magician Reverse? It's the Magician Reverse. Oh, see? It could be that they already are in, um, they're already in um, a long-term commitment with the Queen of Pentacles, or this is financial. This could also be a parent, a family member, Coworker, friend, boss, whatever the case, there's like a block there. 
So I have a Queen of Pentacles and I have a Queen of Wands. And I feel like this King of Wands, they want this Queen of Wands. That's what they want. Tell me about the King of Wands. What do they want to do? Tell me about this King of Wands. Well, tell me about this King of Wands. <laughs> That's why this Two of Cups keeps falling out, because this is what they want. They want this connection, but they're blocked with the Eight of Wands reversed from taking action. Tell me about the King of Wands. Justice, Libra energy. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, it's like the, it's like they can't really do something. This could be a legal situation with justice. Um, it could be that they're trying to restore balance, but they're prevented from doing that. Okay, let's see. What's this Three of Cups reverse? What's this Three of Cups doing here reverse? Queen of Swords reverse, another queen. Got a lot of people here. It could also be the same person, you know, but tell me about this Three of Cups reverse. Nine of Wands, Five of Swords reverse. There's the Ace of Pentacles again at the bottom. I feel like this is the goal, Ace of Pentacles, this is the goal. There's some someone or something in the way here. Deception could also be a third party uh, interference. That could be interfering in this connection. The fact that someone's not telling you the whole truth about something. It could also be an actual person. It could be that someone is a terrible communicator, that they're having financial difficulties, addictions, um, long distance, Etc. Cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of those things can be a third party interference. But for your case specifically, Pisces, I think this has something to do with communication or truth. It could also be a person. Queen of Swords Reverse is usually a terrible person. Um, a lot of conflict ends up happening because of a Queen of Swords Reverse. I have the f someone here that's kind of standing guard, not giving up trust issues here with the nine of wands that's why i'm thinking it could be deception for a lot of you i feel like there's trust issues here someone that is a bit defensive given what's already happened with the five of swords reverse probably probably someone already lied to them in the past i feel like this is there's some sort of baggage that's getting in the way here and I think this baggage is because of whatever happened in the past that like you're still thinking about Pisces. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here? Seven of Wands. A lot of like defensive energy here. With the Nine of Wands, Seven of Wands, resistance block standing firm standing up for your beliefs facing challenges obstacles courage nine of pentacles reverse can you get one more for this ten of pentacles please i feel like someone's still attached to a long-term commitment a family situation or yeah with finances they're not um they're not independent, financially independent. I have the Seven of Swords reversed here. I feel like there is something a little off. Either you've already caught this person lying to you or caught this person doing something they shouldn't have been doing or that's going to come out. It could be that someone here is trying to leave a situation and they're prevented from doing so Maybe as they're trying to leave, they get caught. <laughs> but regardless, I feel like this, this, hmm. 
I feel like something has to end with death and six of swords. And I think it's based off of your, your, per, is your person that needs to end or change something in their circumstances. However, they, it's like they're slowing down or they're not doing what, what they should be doing about it. I don't know if it's due to fear because I have the Eight of Swords here. It is reversed, so someone's overcoming that fear, but it could also be that someone's letting that fear take over. Um, what did I clarify here? Yeah, I mean, it could just be that this person's just, they're, they're, they're unable to manifest what they truly want. Queen of Wands doesn't let anybody get in their way. I feel like there's something here, something more. It's almost like it's an official like decision or, or something like that. It's keeping someone from completely becoming free. They have a choice to make. They have a path they need to choose. 